Hello my dear children of class 11 science. Uh, today again I welcome all of you through this mode of teaching that is we are following YouTube mode and in today's class uh, we do continue with the chapter that we are doing that is uh, kinetic theory of gases and in today's class uh, we actually solve some numericals okay problem from numerical problem from this uh, topic different topic from kinetic theory of gases okay now we we'll start with problem number one now problem number one says that if pressure remain constant if pressure remain what constant if pressure remain constant then at what temperature at what temperature the root mean square velocity of the molecules of gas will remain half of the root mean square velocity at 0 degree celsius now root mean square velocity means also called rms velocity and as you have learned in kinetic theory gas that root mean square velocity of a gas the molecules of the gas is always directly proportional to the temperature and what temperature absolute temperature which means when the temperature of the gas increases the rms velocity of the root mean square velocity of gas increases but this is basically at constant what pressure which means and i don't at constant pressure at constant pressure and from what kinetic theory of gases then from and from what kinetic theory of gases root mean square velocity so let me write down root mean square velocity root mean square what velocity is directly proportional is directly what proportional directly proportional to the square root let me write down the statement square root square root of what temperature absolute temperature absolute temperature means the velocity and temperature are directly proportional but how how uh, how they are proportional to each other as i i've written the statement out here root mean square velocity is marked by the b rms which is directly proportional to square root of absolute temperature now outer t means the absolute temperature where outer t is what temperature absolute temperature t is what temperature absolute temperature means when the temperature of the molecules of gas increases okay the rms velocity or root mean square velocity also increases that's why rms velocity is directly proportional to square root of what absolute temperature but the question says that okay what will be the uh, then at what temperature means they are that means we need to find the temperature of the gas where the root mean square velocity of the molecules of the gas remain half the root mean square velocity at 0 degree celsius means you don't know what is the root mean square velocity at 0 degree celsius okay now you have to find at at that temperature where the root mean square velocity become half the root mean square velocity at 0 degree celsius okay so for this i just consider that let b r m s Okay, let me write on this way only BRMS1. Let me write on BRMS1 equals to B. Let me write BRMS1 equals to B is the what? Root mean square velocity. Root mean square velocity. Okay, at temperature how much? 0 degree Celsius. Now, this temperature 0 degree Celsius means I consider that temperature as T1. I consider as what t1 that means t1 is 0 degree celsius but children remember this when this temperature is considered the absolute temperature it must be in kelvin so we convert 0 degree celsius into kelvin so what we need to do we just add 273 so it will be 273 kelvin that means at this much temperature the arithmetic uh, square velocity is say b okay this is just the assumption now again we have to find root mean square velocity okay at on uh, you have to find sorry the RMS, uh, you have to find the temperature but on the root mean square velocity but that velocity will be half the root mean square velocity at what at 0 degree celsius so for that let me just consider t2 let t2 be the what temperature let t2 be the temperature okay where root mean square velocity root mean square okay velocity remains what half remains what half 
of the what? Half of the root mean square velocity at 0 degree Celsius. Half of the root mean square velocity okay, at how much degree Celsius? 0 degree Celsius. You know at 0 degree Celsius root mean square velocity is B. Then your root mean square velocity, this is another velocity that is B RMS2 will be B by 2. So I'm just writing B by 2. You know why B by 2? Because B by 2 is half of B. That means RMS velocity at a temperature. That temperature is T2 is B by 2. And this is at what temperature? T2. B RMS1 is B at temperature T1. B RMS2 equals to B by 2 at T2. Because the concern in the question only is mentioned that the RMS velocity will be half the root mean square velocity at 0 degree Celsius. And what is the root mean square velocity at 0 degree Celsius? B. So half of that means B by 2. Now you have to find this temperature, that is what? T2. Now to calculate the temp uh, RMS temperature in terms of root mean square velocity, see velocity and temperature are directly, directly proportional to absolute temperature. Okay, so if this is true, then I write down the relation now as B R M S one. Okay, is equals to K square root of T one. Because you know when proportional sign is removed, equals to sign you have to put some constant. So B R M S one equals to K T one. Let me give this equation one and B R M S two. I write on K square root of what T two. See, this is the condition. Root mean square velocity is direct proportional to square root of absolute temperature. Now, this is true for any root mean square velocity. But there are two root mean square velocity. One is BRMS1. So, I remove proportional sign to equal to sign. So, I put some constant square root of T1. Now, when root mean square velocity is BRMS2, the temperature is what T2. So, BRMS2 equals to K square root of T2. Okay. Now, what I do, I divide equation 1 and 2 both sides. Let me just write down, dividing equation 1 by 2 both sides. If you divide equation 1 by 2 both sides, so left hand side will be BRMS 1 by BRMS 2 equals to, right hand side is K square root of T1 by K square root of what? T2. Now you know what happened, this K and K cancel out. Now I write the same relation now as BRMS1 by BRMS2 equals to, now there is square root of what? T1 and square root of T2, so but I write in whole square root. Square root of T1 by square root of what? T2. Because numerator also is square root, denominator also is square root, means we can put in whole square root of T1 and what? T2. Okay, now from here we can easily calculate the value. Now BRMS1 is how much? B by BRS means 2 means what? B by what? Uh, B by what? Uh, your 2. So, I said, uh, I put the, sorry, BRMS 1 as B and divide by BRMS 2 as B by 2 equals to square root of what? T1 by T2. Now, this will be reciprocal. Now, 2 will go up and this will be by what? Small b equals to square root of what? T1 by T2. Now this T, uh, B and B cancel out. Now it's coming 2 equals to square root of B1 by B2. But children, look at it. We need to calculate B T2, sorry. Now this T2 is inside the square root. Now in order to eliminate this T2 from inside the square root, we do squaring both sides. We do squaring both sides. So if I do squaring both sides, so we get 2 square as square root of t1 by t2 with whole square. So this square and square root will cancel out. Now see how much? 2 square means 4. Now remaining inside only what? t1 by t2. So on the right hand side because square root and square cancel out. So what is remaining only? t1 by t2. So therefore t2 equals to t1 by what? 4. t2 equals to t1 by 4. So what is t2? A t1 sorry. 273 divided by 4 and this is in Kelvin now 273 by 4 if I divide you get approximately 68.25 Kelvin so look at the temperature now T2 equals to 68.25 Kelvin this is in Kelvin so this is the 
temperature at which the root mean square velocity be reduces to half the velocity at 0 degree Celsius. But we calculate this temperature at degree Celsius because uh, the given temperature was at what 0 degree Celsius uh, at degree Celsius. Now we calculate this temperature T2 also at zero, uh, at degree Celsius. So finally, the temperature is how much? Okay, finally the temperature T2. Okay, now to convert Kelvin to degree Celsius, we need to subtract by 273. So 68.25 minus 273. Okay, so if I subtract, it will be in what degree Celsius? So if I subtract, it will be minus 204.75 degrees Celsius. So you get approximately this much. So look at the temperature. That means the temperature of the gas become minus 273, minus 204.75 degrees Celsius. Then your velocity will be reduced to half. Okay, so this is one of the numerical is number one based on RMS velocity. Now we do other solve other problem also and that you learn in the next YouTube video.